Hey guys, hope you are doing well. Are you people fond of watching F1 races? If yes, you will find this video very interesting. In this video, we will discuss a feature used predominantly in F1 cars called as the drag reduction system. When will a race become more interesting and thrilling? I do feel, uh, you know, we get more thrilled and excited whenever a car takes over another car, right? It is even more thrilling when it occurs at a crucial time. DRS is a system introduced for promoting overtaking in F1 races. People who are aware of F1 races know that there is a set of rules which bans moving parts to be installed on the car. So the aerodynamic performance of the car will not get affected. DRS is the only exception to this rule. Do you know why? F1 cars are usually designed to have smoother airflow for making the car aerodynamically balanced. Whenever a car runs behind another, the approaching car will not be able to get clean air, right? This disturbs the aero balance of the car running behind and makes it difficult to overtake other cars, especially at the corners. Thus, DRS is introduced to rectify this issue. The system was introduced in F1 cars in 2011. The speed of the car may increase by 10 to 12 kilometers per hour after activating DRS. It is necessary to understand what is drag before moving on to the working of DRS. The resistance offered by the air against the motion of the vehicle is known as drag. Whenever the drag reduces, the speed of the vehicle increases. The function of DRS is to reduce this drag force. DRS is a bodywork which has an adjustable rear wing which moves in response to the driver's command. The rear wing of the car consists of a main plate and an adjustable flap. This flap is capable of being lifted to a maximum height of 50 millimeters. At normal conditions, the flap is closed and the drag force will be maximum. Hence, the downforce is also maximum. When the DRS is activated, it creates an opening by moving a flap through which air rushes. This reduces the total drag of the car, which simultaneously results in lesser downforce and faster acceleration. An actuator is used to control the movement of the flap. The actuator is an electric motor with an attached screw and its nut is connected to the casing. When the driver activates the DRS by pressing the DRS switch on the steering console, the motor rotates which in turn drives the screw. The movement of the screw forces the nut linearly and this linear motion is used to lift the flap. DRS gets activated automatically when the driver applies the brakes and it can also be done manually. Can DRS be used everywhere? No. The usage of DRS is restricted to specific zones and it can be used only under certain circumstances. DRS can be activated when the distance between the cars is less than a second apart and it cannot be used by the car which is defending. The places in which DRS can be activated is called as the activation zones. Initially, there was only one activation zone when DRS could be used. The number of activation zones has increased to three in the events held during 2018 and 2019. The effectiveness of the DRS varies for different cars and it also depends on the track. So guys, with this, I think you have gotten a clear idea of what DRS is. Wait for more interesting videos like this in upcoming days. Thank you. Bye.